This is X7. We've got 23 medical device companies, nine of the 23 international, five great homegrown Texas companies, and the rest from all over the country. If you're trying to get this clinical validation, if you're trying to understand how to penetrate the U.S. market as an international company, there's no better place than here to do that. The Texas Medical Center offers an extremely efficient platform for going from prototype to actual feasibility. We have 70 plus hours of curriculum, 250 plus advisors, two great strategists on staff, Lance and Gwen. They find out exactly what the companies need while they're here and they plug them in. The first day we were in TMC, we were able to meet with the head of emergency from a number of different hospitals. I got appointments at Texas Heart, MD Anderson. I've been inside Methodist. I've been inside the VA. The first two weeks here in TMCX, we were asked to do six different large trials. If you're going to help them help people, they want to do business with you. A typical accelerator company with seed, pre-seed funded does really well through our curriculum, but those later stage companies are getting just as much, if not more, traction because they can roll out directly into the hospital system. We're not going to bring a company in that doesn't already have an established market fit. We go to our member institutions and we ask them what they're looking for. People that we could have cold emailed for the next 10 years and never got close to. We've actually been approached by people outside of the medical industry. NIH, for instance, NASA. I had never considered that our technology might wind up in space. Whether it's from Johnson & Johnson or clinicians within the hospitals, we bring in the world's leading experts. They had four procurement people from different hospitals come here and just explain the process. They're gonna review my product to see how it fits on the shelf, what's the box like, not just how it works with a patient. Getting someone from the FDA is an outstanding step to answer our questions and allay our concerns. The idea to bring not only capital and entrepreneurs, but also industry and the like here to Houston, that's all part of the plan. This whole building, 700,000 square feet, we're looking to turn into an innovation neighborhood. At the Center for Device Innovation, we have mills, lays, 3D printers, access to experienced machinists, which can actually operate all of these machines that can provide perspective. Part of the great thing about the program is, you know, everybody is not at the, the same place in their development. So you've got companies that have uh, raised 30 million plus that can offer the value of their experience. As a first time startup owner, there's a lot of things you can do wrong. And to improve your success rate, it's better for you to, uh, to learn those lessons from people who've been through it before. I think it helps that no one is actually directly competing with each other. We provide each other with introductions, with whatever resources or advice that we have. Whether it be the mentors or our peers, all of the people that we've met so far have provided us with help. And it's more than just sort of like professional advice on, you know, how to make your company successful. They're really a great support net when you come to Houston from somewhere else and help you to get situated here and become a part of the community. These companies are graduating with three, four, five, six, seven signed agreements in four months. Pilot agreements, co-development, sales, clinical trials. That's real traction in a very short period of time. We think Houston, if it's not already, it's very quickly on its way to becoming the epicenter for medical device innovation. The capital is coming, the startup companies are coming. This is a very robust and rapidly growing ecosystem and it shows no signs of stopping anytime soon.